So OpsWork is a configuration management tool that basically involves a DevOps tool called Chef for continuous deployment. So as I said, it is a configuration management service that helps you configure and operate applications of all shapes and sizes using Chef. These are the key features. It supports any application. The whole configuration becomes code due to Chef automation to run at scale and resource organization. So there are few terminologies used in AWS OpsWorks. The first is stack. Now the stack is a cluster of EC2 and RDS instances. Okay, and a layer is a blueprint added to it, which basically defines like uh, what type of uh, EC2 instance is going to be that. Is it going to be a web server, application server, or a database server? So those kind of configuration details are mentioned in the layer. So layers give you the complete control over which package are installed, how they are configured, and how applications are deployed. Now, recipes and cookbooks are something which we study in detail when we actually take up the topic on Chef because uh, recipes and cookbooks is something which is denoted by chef only. So let me show you the practical demonstration for AWS OpsWork. So for AWS OpsWorks, uh, let me check if there is a video that is available. You can check like the one we had for Elastic Beanstalk. I think there is a video. So we can get that video here. So many times people ask, uh, what is the difference between cloud formation and OpsWorks and Elastic Beanstalk? So the first major difference is OpsWork does not work alone. It works in collaboration with Chef, which is a DevOps tool. And uh, it has uh, cookbooks and recipes to deploy the configuration. So here is the video that it's a three minutes video. Whenever you get time, just go through this video. That is the introduction to AWS OpsWork stacks. And first thing first, we have to create a stack. So right now, do we have a stack? Uh, let me check. So first of all, we are going to add a stack with Chef 11 because that has built in cookbooks and recipes. So I'm going to name it as IntelliPart first and uh, rest everything will be same. And I say add a stack. So the stack is being added right now. Now the next step is to add a layer. So how do we add a layer? We click here and uh, here I'm going to add a PHP server. So I would say PHP app server because the code, my application that I want to deploy is written in PHP. I do not want to attach an elastic load balancer as of now. And I say add the layer. So the layer has been added. And to the layer, I'm going to add one EC2 instance. So I'm going to add t2.micro, which is free tire eligible. And I say add an instance. Now on this instance, I'm going to start it. And on this instance, my PHP application is going to be hosted. So it is starting the instance right now. So as I said, it is explaining the difference between OpsWorks and CloudFormation. So CloudFormation is used for spinning up the AWS resources. However, OpsWorks is something which is used for deploying the third-party applications, which can be written in Go, AngularJS, Node.js, 
Ruby, Python. All right. So the same difference is between OpsWorks and Elastic Beanstalk as well. Like Elastic Beanstalk does not involve any chef configuration. So the instance, the EC2 instance is getting started right now. Okay. So it is online. The instance is online. The next thing is to add an application. The PHP application that we were talking about. So I'm going to give it a name in telepart first. And uh, my application is stored on Git repository. So I'm going to provide the URL for Git. It's right here. So here we go with the URL. We say add an application. So the application has been added. Now the next thing is to deploy the application. So we are going to deploy it on the EC2 instance that we just created. And it is being deployed right now. Okay. So this has been successful. And all we have to do is go to PHP app server. And uh, basically we need to go into instances. And this is the IP address. So it says your PHP application is now running in your own dedicated environment in the AWS cloud. And uh, this host is running PHP version 5.3.29. I'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video. Please like the video. And if you have any doubts regarding this video, please comment us in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Do look out for other related videos in our playlist. For more information, visit our website now. Keep learning with IntelliPat.